I don't need an explanation of that. We have to solve it immediately because the, the aircraft flies with uh, 450 miles per hour at any moment. So we have to solve things. We have to think for the future, communicate and accept feedback. Mm. Octavian, what is one of the goals when someone reads this book and maybe you could even share who you think it might be for so that someone's going, yeah, I, I should probably check this out. Uh, I do think there's value for communications, leadership, all of that, but yeah. I'm going to let, I'm going to let you share that. Um, what would you want the person that gets this book and reads it to take away from it? What would you want them to gain from reading the book? And then we're close to wrapping up here. I've got a, one more wrap up question. So uh, if you were to um, summarize the audience to just one, it would be leaders. But what we were pleasantly surprised to discover from feedback from readers is that leaders bought it for them to become even better as they lead their team, whether it's a team of three or of 3,000. Then uh, C-suite people bought it for their staff. They bought it for their customers. Dear customer, here's a nice book that you like. Uh, it's a Christmas gift or whatever gift. Here it is. Uh, they bought it for their kids, uh, for if they're teenagers and above, uh, it's good for them because it kind of guides them. Some young executives bought or young professionals bought it for their parents. Uh, here's a nice book. Here's a nice reading. Uh, an interesting audience that reads the book uh, are the people who are afraid of flying. They're afraid of flying. And we've had feedback from people saying, after having read the book, uh, it's it's fascinating. It's, it's clear to me that there are a hundred processes in place and nobody just flies uh, because they feel like the, a hundred things that need to be done at the right time. That makes me more confident uh, when the next time will be that I will have to fly or things like that. So uh, there's a wide audience which we, we, we're, we're happy for. What can what do people get out of the book? Well, they get some quick wins, like uh, have a checklist. If you do the more or less same things and you want to avoid things like, oh, I've forgot that or by the way oh this meeting this negotiation this call this whatever again did not go have a checklist for me have a checklist don't make it too long but have it written on your phone or somewhere however three things to do and then these are quick wins uh, and then on the on the uh, even more important sides is the attitude whatever the environment is don't aim to control all of it because you can't but there's always something that you can do. Do the maximum that you can, and you'll feel better. You'll feel in control. You'll feel, that's one message. Another message is that you can't succeed by yourself. If you, the bigger the goal, the, the more important is that you are part of a team or, or lead a team. Uh, and Captain Emil has mentioned a number of people that maybe you want to say, what is the team? Well, it's the co-pilot and the flight attendants. Yeah, but it's the technicians, it's the load manager, it's the tower uh, who help with the communication. It's the um, catering people. We all know if they forget the food or the drinks, some passengers might <laughs> come and make some noise in, in there. So um, uh, a team is essential. Surround yourself with people who have high levels of professionalism 